we've seen the alarming headlines. This pilot whale is stranded, starving to death. If the team leave it, it will drown. It cannot eat because its stomach is full of plastic. So as you open it up, you can see that's incredible. all that plastic that's inside this bird. What you just saw are extremely visual examples of the plastic we discard ending up in our environment. But researchers are now focusing on plastic which isn't so visible. Plastic in our air, and experts say we could be unknowingly breathing it in. Tiny microscopic pieces of plastic have been found in the air in major cities like Paris and London, and even in remote places throughout the Arctic. Researchers say this is a clear indication that airborne plastic is a global problem. When you join all of the new research that's happened in the last sort of five years or so up, we've identified it in the middle of the cities, we've identified it in the agricultural areas, we've found it in the forests, we've found it on the top of the mountains, and we've found it out over the ocean. So there is nowhere we haven't have looked where we haven't found plastic in the air. So it's definitely in the air. Dione Allen has done major expeditions around the world and most recently gathered evidence in the Pyrenees Mountains of southern France. Allen found plastics, and lots of them, in the form of tiny fragments, fibers, and films. And apparently it's not from the area as only a few small villages lie within 95 kilometers of the study site. Researchers determined the area they were studying alone saw 365 microplastic particles per square meter drop in the sky each day. Microplastic is classified as plastic as large as 5 millimeters or as small as 1 nanometer. Basically that means a piece that can be the size of a corn kernel to about a particle that is microscopic. Oftentimes, microplastics are manufactured sources such as scrubbing materials and cleaning products or the natural wear and tear of items such as single-use plastic bags and cutlery, tires or plastic fibers from clothing. What remains unclear is how this could affect our health. We are breathing this in. Um, we just need a huge amount of research more to understand how much, where, in what conditions um, that's going on. And that research is just starting now. She cites a 1998 study as one of the only major assessments of microplastic in human lungs. They took human tissue um, from lungs, from people who had carcinomas um, and just had uh, like irritable lung problems. Um, and they found both uh, cellulose and plastic fibers in these lungs. In pretty much every uh, tumor that they found, they found a, uh, a synthetic fiber. This suggests plastic fibers are durable and likely to persist in the lung. What makes plastic particularly dangerous is the way it breaks down. It takes a very long time to break down, and as it breaks down, it forms these jagged little particles that are highly reactive and um, good at conveying pollutants and uh, toxic chemicals and viruses and bacteria on them. As of now, tiny plastic pieces floating in our air are nearly impossible to clean up. Dione says the only realistic solution is to produce less. The Canadian government is looking to ban single-use plastics by 2021. A lot of the plastic particles found in the environment today are believed to be plastics that have broken down from as far back as the 1990s. Fast forward to today, plastic production has more than tripled, which means we don't have a clear picture of how much plastic could potentially be floating in our environment years from now. This is going to continue to be a problem for quite a long time because the, the larger pieces of plastic we have in the environment are going to break down and break down and break down and get smaller and get smaller and cause more numerous pieces of small plastic that are then easier to get transported. Experts say even though more research is needed to truly understand the health risks, it would be prudent to use fewer plastics. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel.